I spent a large part of the 1990s talking to people who had just been told that they were going to die slightly earlier than they fully expected to. And I noticed after a while there was a pattern to these interactions. After the initial car crash of emotions, these people would sit down and they would tell me stories from their life. And surprisingly for most of you, I would say nothing. But listen, and eventually they would stop, thank me profusely for helping them to feel better and go off on their way. I quickly noticed that it was not the content of these stories that was important, it was the telling. Telling a story creates a connection between the teller and the listener. And it was my guess that it was the creation of this feeling of connection to another person that had psychological benefit. Indeed, 10 years on, the data's in. We now know that the telling of life stories has significant positive mental health and psychological functioning benefits for people, particularly older people. And indeed, the mechanism of action looks like it's the one I thought it was, the creation of connections. 10 years down the track, I'm still looking at the connections between people, but at a community level, not so much an individual level. We have data from about 1,500 North Queenslanders, and this data assesses people on variables such as feelings of connectedness to community, psychological functioning, mental health, feelings of safety, and behavioural preparation for disasters, and behavioural response to disasters. We found some interesting stuff. One, the greater the feeling of connectedness, the better people's reported mental health. Nice, but repeats something that comes up in the literature anyway. Two, people who are connected report bouncing back from the negative events in their life far, far more quickly than those who report being lesser connected. Again, nice, but not particularly surprising. That's called resilience. What is great for us is the behavioural data. These people who are emotionally connected and hardy are not life's optimists. They are planning for disasters. They are planning for the worst. In North Queensland, we want that in our communities. That's a buffer, because once a year, guys, nature picks you up, slaps you hard, and throws you back down again. You want to bounce back quick. Okay, so that's the past chapter in my story. What's next? So what? Go back to the beginning of my tale. We're going to try to help build connections within communities by getting people to tell their stories. We're going to help them disseminate it to their communities. We're going to assess outcomes on individual level variables and community level variables and behavioural variables. What do we think is going to happen? As in all good research stories, my friend, we're hoping that our characters live happily ever after.